So what we teach and ask is that you got to write a list of 200 people you want to spend time with, play with, grow with, expand with, do business with, have fun with, have adventure. And I'd say a decade before I met Jay, to use that as an example, I did everything I said because the internet was coming out, you know, maybe a little before that. I put his picture next to mine. And it's, we did the same thing with Richard Branson. You, you pick whomever you want, the highest minds that you guys want to interview. And you put those pictures together and you say, well, how's that going to happen? You don't have to know how. Subconscious, you know, you got conscious, subconscious goes up to in secular language, super conscious and spiritual language. It's God, infinite intelligence, universal wisdom. And the point is universal wisdom figures out the HOW. That's why you got to be a full-time asker. And we're saying, hey, wait a second. We want everyone to get the book, read the book, buddy up on the book. And, and you can get it at a bookstore, get it, otherwise get it at Amazon. And then we want you to go to askthebookclub.com because we want everyone to become a master asker. And, and what happens is, is once they become a master asker, you'll be fearless. You're going to ask to meet with somebody and you say, well, let's go backwards to Jay. If you didn't, weren't his friend already, and you everyone that came on your podcast at the end, you said, you know, Jay Abraham. And I'd say, yeah, we're literally great friends, our wives and everything. So the, the, the point is somebody can get you to anyone. In the old days, we're, what you just said, uh, Joe, is about the six degrees of freedom. Now, I think we're more close to two, where within one or two calls, you can probably get to almost anyone on the phone. Like the podcast we did in Portugal, this lady done everybody. I mean, Dalai Lama and wow. Lupac and us. And, and it just, it, and she was so, it's so wonderful. But wonderful. And, and she wants to do some more stuff with us. And you go, if it wasn't for podcasting, we would know. And, and if you forgive one brag, but I'm answering your question about collaboration, sure. we will ask you guys for other podcasts that you want us to go on. But we have literally been in one day across America, Canada, Israel, Africa, and, <laughs> and finishing up with 10 million people in Vietnam. And, and our book sales are different than they've ever been because in the old days, you know, I do, we do the 20 big city tour. Yep and go to the biggest bookstore in New York and the best in Portland. And I can name all of them because I've been to Tattered Cover and all those bunches of times and, and meet the people. But now all of us can meet all of us on, on podcasts and phone casts and Clubhouse and all the new social media that we're part of some new stuff that's coming forth that's gonna even make it easier and better. So we're in the most exciting, if you're awake, and I'm, I'm convinced that the people listening to you are awake and you learn how to ask positively and correctly, your world will just open up like a wonderful lotus flower. Yeah, there's no doubt at all. And just as a mechanism, this podcast has allowed us to uh, kind of, I guess, uh, put our hand into, uh, force our hand. I don't want to say it that way, but it, it gets us asking all the time. And it's that was one of the, the reasons why we even created this. It's a, it's a machine that allows us to really do exactly what you just said there, Mark. And uh, yeah, right now, it's an interesting time and I'm kind of curious, how are you, uh, like, are you going to go back to, and it's hard to tell the future, but now with book sales being so different for you, like, as you said, in podcasts, how is this changing your perspective of just book marketing or marketing in general, since you've been doing this so long? And so I'd say when you write a great book, and obviously I got a new one out called, you have a book in you. And, and, uh, you know, it's a great book. Cause I say, everybody's got to write their own book. And mm -hmm. I said, the best book hasn't been written yet. Cause you haven't written it. So and, and I really believe everyone's got a story to share. And that's what we did, you know, in, in the whole life. So I, I want to do bookstores again. I love bookstores. I, 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 they're called indies, independents. Mm -hmm. and, and Jack, Dr. Canfield and I did more independence, I think, than anyone else. And, and we've been consistent, you know, going to them. And if you go to a bookstore through an airport in the old days, mm -hmm. Hudson's, you'd walk in and you'd sign every book and say signed by author. And people would walk up to you while you're signing and say, you're him? And he said, can I give you a hug? You kept my marriage alive. You kept my kid in school. You did wow. chicken soup for the college soul. Just saved me. And, and that chicken soup for the teenage soul, my teenager would read to me. So it, it just, you know, books are critically important. And, and for the first time, they're, they're going to be inexpensive enough to get to everybody. So it, it, we've come so far so fast. And, and it, you know, for the most part, we all see the problems, but we don't see the opportunity. And what I love about your show is that an entrepreneur takes a problem, fixes it, scales it, makes a vast profit. And that's what, you know, we're trying to teach with ask, go ask, what is the problem that you're uniquely born to solve? 
and then go solve it and make a fortune and buy the rest of our books. <laughs> hey, we got a lot to work through. <laughs> we got time in our hands now, right? <laughs> so I, I have a question. It's kind of going back to the like asking other people questions, and this is just me. I'm a I'm a super over analyzer, and that's probably one of the things that pr holds me back from asking a lot of questions is the sort of analytical thing that goes on in my head. But my question is, if I was to go to like three different successful business owners and ask for advice from all three of them, I could potentially get three different pieces of advice. They could tell me, one would say, go do path A, path B, path C. So do you have any sort of filtering or analysis that you do for like figuring out if you're asking the right questions? And if you're, um, you know, if you get multiple sort of solutions how do you decide which solution to go down no i totally get it matt and it's such a good question because yeah sometimes you're going to get different feedback and advice and that's where you know that's why we talk about these three channels because the asking journey is not just about going and asking everybody else what you should do it's it's three pronged and each one is equally important so to ask yourself ask others ask god when you ask a bunch of people and they're experts and they're helping you and the advice is a little bit different or there are differing you know, aspects to it, then you need to sit with yourself because honestly, the more you do this, I promise you, the more you sit with yourself and ask yourself these questions, you will come to rely on your own intuition because when you ask yourself, the answer comes through you, you know, your own mind and then through your own intuition. And especially when you're asking God, it's like, you know, these answers you get sometimes that, that are just like, whoa, where did that come from? That's, you know, so ask yourself and ask God, you know, just can you guide me on this, you know, just expand your awareness to God's perfect universe where all the answers are. And as you know, here I'm and, and lay out your scenarios and imagine each one of them and then start to rely on yourself and feedback from God, like what is the best way? Which thing feels the best to me? And I know people like, guys probably have a harder time with the feeling thing but feelings are, are powerful it's power the feeling you have about something is actually very powerful feedback so learn to rely on that a little bit more and test it a little bit you know when you when you act on something when you decide a certain way you'll start to get feedback in the form of like successes you'll go wow i'm so glad i did that that was that was amazing